So, well, today, as I explained to you last week, every single week we're going to have a little series of trainings showing you what things you can do in Google or Workspace using Gemini. Today, we're going to move to the Gemini standalone version, which is basically from there you can perform uh, different cool things. And we're going to move right now. Okay. So, as I uh, our last week, my name is Stanley. I'll be your presenter. I'm a Sweetbriar employee and also I'm a deployment engineer for Google Workspace. Okay. And today we're going to talk about what is GEMS, uh, pre built GEMS for Gemini. We'll explain to you the different ones that you have and, of course, how to create a Gemini. So we're going to move that way so we can see how the cool things that you can do using Gemini. So as you can see, this is my Gemini standalone version. To go to this version, basically you go to gemini.google.com and it will open you this one. This one is basically like a chatting part of Gemini, the one that you can put prompts, you can ask things to Gemini and it will provide to you answers, letting you know um, what you can do or what you requested. So, but today we're gonna focus on directly on gem, gem and how to create gems. gems is basically like a like a version of Gemini just with the instructions that you are providing it. Basically, it's like a, a, a small Gemini that you can create, but specifically for the instructions that you're gonna create using Gem. As you can see, when we click on Gem, it will show you different Gem created that are here in the in the Gemini, of course. And in here, you have different ones that you can even use them and try to recreate them. You can click on copy and you can create a copy of these ones if you like them, of course, and you can create your own Gemini um, gems, of course. And in here, they are pre-built. So if you click on one of them, it will show you the the interface of the that gemini and basically it's for brainstormer this one but uh, if you would like to see uh, how to how to change it and all of that basically you can um, click on make a copy and this one it will show you what is the inside of this jam that you created in, in this one is the purpose. It will show you the purpose and the, the information for this one. And in here, you will have the instructions directly from this Gemini or this gem that you created. And from here, you can see the goals. You can see the questions, the type of things that you can do. And you might think that, well, this is a lot for me to create it, but I will show you a way that we can create this one. And um, and it's a very easy, just by a simple prompt, you will get it. Okay. So right now we're gonna we're gonna move and create a new gem for you. So we click on on new gem, and in here new gem, basically you can put the name for this one. On this one, I already have a a prevailed uh, prompt that we can use, but of course you can use anything that you need that you want inside of it. Okay. So. Basically, for this one, we're gonna use an email responder. So we put it in here on the on the part of the name. We, this is the name of this gem is an email responder. And inside of that email responder, I would like for for this one provide me different replies that I can give to a client or I can I can use it. So I'm gonna put in there like a very simple prompt, and I will ask this one to elaborate even more. As you can see, this one is just a simple prompt. Respond to emails in a friendly and professional tone. Simple as that. But the, the magic of this gem is that you have this little pencil in here. You click on that little pencil and it will take that little prompt that you created and it will create the whole gem for you. And, uh, and you just put something very simple. Like you want a professional tone 
And it's in here is even even elaborate more in order to provide a better uh, prompt or a better response for you to an email uh, to a reply to an email if you like to. And basically in here is showing you everything that the gem needs to have in order to work perfectly. So even though in here you can you can put in here a preview of um, something that on the prompt and you can see how it will work in in, in your daily uh, working every time. Okay, so basically in here we're gonna click on save and we're gonna start the chat. You see, email responder is like another Gemini, but it's just with the instructions that you uh, put in the in the creation of the Gemini. So in here we're gonna we're gonna use an email that I already have prebuilt, and we're gonna put that one in here for the email that I received from from John in this case to my to my email, and it says this is of course something that I made up. But when you click on that, you just put the, the, the email for the reply that you would like to give to that email and you just press enter and it will give you the response to that email. And using the instructions that you gave to the gem prior that you created and simple as that. And from here, you can do different things by copy, by double check the responses and you can a chair and export this one. Of course, those those ones are, are different options that you can do. But for today, for today training, basically I was walking on just to show you how to use Gemini. And for today, that's it. Please subscribe and like to the video because next week I will create another short video for you. So you can you can see any other things that you can do inside of Gemini. Okay. Have a great rest of the day.